Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously we've seen how to create a mapping where we transfer data from a database table to another database table. Today we'll look at an example where we'll transfer data from a flat file so from a database table to a target flat file source. To do that, first we'll need to create a target a flat file. So let's do that. Create new text document. Let's name it as target file. Open it. Here we need to mention the column names of the source table as we'll be writing the source data into this. So let's look at take a look at the table which we will be importing into the file. Connect using the test1 ODBC connection username hr password hr click ok and wait for it to be connected ok so expand the hr then the tables and let's make mapping for the regions table. Generate SQL for create. Sorry. Generate SQL for create. Yeah. Now let's copy the names of the columns from here. First is region ID. region ID. Next, the second column's name is region name. Okay, let's put a delimiter in it. A bar delimiter we'll be using. You can use any delimiter you want. And let's copy and paste this row once again. As I'll tell you the reason later for this. So yeah, okay, save this. Okay, now that we have our target file, let's move over to the mapping now. Close this. Okay, let's open the Power Center Designer. Informatica 9.6.1, Client, Power Center Client, and Designer. Connect to the repository using the administrator username and password oracle yeah well, let's open the folder as we cannot work without that this is the previous map mapping that we've created so let's go to the source analyzer clear this Let's import the database source, which is the regions table from the HR uh, database. So import from database. Test one connection, username HR, password HR, connect. Okay. Expand this, expand the tables and click on regions and click ok yeah the regions table has been imported as a source now now we need to import the target file that we created so let's go to the target uh, uh, designer targets now we're importing from a file so click on import from file here we'll select the file that we created select all file types okay target file Click on this, click OK. Now you can see the contents of this. So let's click on import field names from the first file. Now you see that one of the lines has gone and the file is delimited with the bar. So we're selecting delimited file. 
and let's click next here we need to specify what kind of a delimiter are we using we're using a bar delimiter so put that in and you can see over here that the fields have automatically been delimited and separated we are, don't have we don't, we don't want any quotes so select this everything else looks fine so let's click next here let's change the length of the <coughs> fields let's put this to 15 and the region name let's put that to 25 okay click finish and here we have the new uh, target flat file imported and you can see the lens and the two columns so let's move on to the mapping designer and create new mapping let's name it as m underscore regions m underscore regions underscore ff flat file underscore regions again click ok yeah so now we need to drag and drop the sources as well as the targets so expand the sources test one regions is the new source let's drag and drop it as we all know it comes with a source qualifier right click them and arrange all this will make them look prettier and arranged in an orderly manner let's import the target as well so the target file is a target so click on it and drag and drop it over here let's click on okay let's select the two columns from the source qualifier pick them up and throw them towards the target so here we have another mapping a simple mapping one-to-one -one mapping where we are sending source data from a database table to a flat file source we will be creating new let's save this yeah please don't forget to save your work and now you can see that the mapping is valid and the mapping has been inserted so we'll be creating sessions and workflows in upcoming videos so stay tuned for that and till then take care and thank you for staying with us bye bye